The iconic aesthetic of Scooby-Doo is defined by its vibrant palette of blue, purple, orange, and green, complemented by the spotted coat of its beloved four-legged protagonist. This aesthetic, rooted in the colorful backdrop of the 1960s, resonates with the era's flamboyant fashion trends, including mini skirts, bell-bottom jeans, and oversized glasses, epitomizing the mod and hippie styles. Despite initial criticism of earlier adaptations, the enduring popularity of the franchise persists, evidenced by Netflix's recent acquisition of rights for a contemporary spin-off. While details remain under wraps, anticipation builds for a new adventure with Mystery Incorporated, helmed by screenwriters Josh Applebaum and Scott Rosenberg. The 2002 live-action film's success may have led some to believe that Scooby-Doo's style was a product of the Y2K era, but in reality, the series debuted in 1969, capturing the essence of its time. From its inception, the show's creators envisioned it as a reflection of the cultural zeitgeist. Against the backdrop of a Volkswagen van, the youthful gang, Velma, Shaggy, Fred, Daphne, and Scooby, embodied the era's spirit, which was not only reflected in their appearance but also in the thematic elements of the show. The 1970s witnessed a surge in fascination with the occult, witchcraft, and the paranormal, as evidenced by the popularity of iconic films like The Exorcist and Rosemary's Baby, and the music of Fleetwood Mac and Pink Floyd. Scooby-Doo's ability to tap into these societal interests underscores the foresight of its producers, Fred Silverman and Hanna-Barbera, who were attuned to the cultural currents of the time. This forward-thinking approach extended to other Hanna-Barbera productions, such as the Powerpuff Girls, which echoed the 1960s space-age aesthetic in anticipation of the new millennium. Just as the Jetsons had done three decades prior, the Powerpuff Girls incorporated elements of contemporary fashion and design, reflecting the era's aesthetic sensibilities through animated iterations of Pierre Cardin's collections and iconic furniture pieces like the lounge chair by Ray Eames. When revisiting the iconic mystery-solving gang from television, it's essential to acknowledge the remarkable skill of animators Joe Ruby, Ken Spears, and Iwao Takamoto in crafting distinct 1970s archetypes for each character. Daphne Blake epitomizes the Mary Quant diva, with her fashion-forward sensibilities evident in her purple A-line dress, pink tights, and coordinating accessories. Fred Jones, the group's leader, embodies the mod aesthetic with his tight jeans, crisp white polo, and neatly groomed blonde hair. Velma Dinkley, the quintessential 1960s nerd, is characterized by her thick orange turtleneck sweater, signature glasses, and red Mary Janes. Shaggy Rogers, known for his fearfulness and voracious appetite, reflects elements of the Stone, 